Hi. And yeah, I'm just sitting on the beach here in Koh Samui. Um, it was full moon last night, so the, the weather's really changed. It's becoming quite stormy, so I don't know how long I'm going to be able to sit here for. Um, maybe the rain will just come and I'll have to make a run for it. But um, And I'm not really sure entirely what it is that I need to say, but I just kind of felt the need to switch the camera on and communicate and um, you know something that I've been feeling kind of the last few days particularly is this like just really being on the precipice of something and I don't know what that something is and this isn't just me personally um, I mean, it is personal, of course, but I also have learned as, as someone who's um, extremely intuitive to really kind of discern between feelings that are just mine personally and those that are connected to the, to the collective. And this feels like there's something that is very much connected to the collective so yeah I, I feel like we're really on the precipice of something here and it feels good it's been very dark recently we've been yet through yet another kind of dark night haven't we um for a good few months and it feels like and you know that saying that you know it's always darkest before the dawn and it feels like we're going into the dawn now and so I just wanted to share that with you I guess um, so if you're still feeling that darkness I think I think we're at the end of the tunnel I really really do and I'm not 100% sure what is at the end of the tunnel except that it's something that's better than being in the tunnel if you know what I mean and I think it's better than what was at the other end of the tunnel which was you know the tunnel really has been the the last two years and um, I know for myself before we entered that tunnel, which was for me was really kind of March 2020. Um, the, I thought life was fantastic. And in some ways it was really, it was really fantastic. But I, I look back now and I can see how, how illusory it was and how dysfunctional it was even here living here in Thailand running my retreat center with the busyness of that with a real sense of you know kind of being in service and doing something that had real value um, and for sure it, it did relative to you know being working as a fashion designer and living in Europe it definitely was very relatively anyway kind of valuable but now I, I can still look back and see how still it was very much part of a kind of broken and dysfunctional world and these last two years which are the tunnel that we've all been in has really been about the dismantling of that world the breaking down of that world and it's the the tunnel has also been a birthing canal hasn't it for this for this new world and it just really feels yeah i use the word precipice but it's all also you know it, using the analogy of the birthing canal it's like the head's just popping out if you know what i mean and i think we're going to be able to open our eyes soon and really start to see what the new world is about um, and of course we are all collectively 
involved in creating this new world. It's not just something that is happening to us. Um, so I guess that's part of this message as well, is that just to stay present with yourself, with ourselves as the creators of the new earth that is being birthed and just a reminder not to give away our power because that's what this has been about isn't it the last couple of years is reclaiming our power our sovereignty um for those that prior to 2020 still really believe that you know that there are authorities out there that create the world for us and that they have our best interest at heart I'm pretty sure by now that the greatest majority of us that were still in that place two years ago have wo have awoken to the fact that that is no longer true and it actually was never true and so here we are now at the precipice taking back and really owning our individual sovereignty and our collective power and that's just so so exciting it really it really really is i'm like you know if i was an emoji i'd be like <laughs> you know what i mean like so excited about about what we're coming into um but yeah it's been it's been really dark um i think the one thing that i i want to really highlight because it's been something that i've been so aware of recently is the role that money and time play in this and these have been the major tools, if not the biggest tools of our enslavement. And we've, we've enslaved ourselves. We've completely um, consented to this. We've created and consented both money and time. And I think a big part of the, you know, disclaiming our power and our sovereignty is actually acknowledge, acknowledging that there is, there's no they out there that did this to us we've done it completely to ourselves you know in the same way that healing really requires an ownership of the role that we have played in creating our own condition our own disease in the same way we need now it's imperative that we really own the fact that we created this hell that we have found ourselves in and in owning that it's actually just a short a short journey out of it so we've got to stop pointing the finger and saying you know the governments are bad the uh the medical industry is bad, the food industry is bad, that there's uh, reptilians out there that are doing this to us, that it's this person and that person, you know, that this government's the bad government and this government was the good government. We've got to just really let go of all that and just say, hey, you know what, we just did this all to ourselves. And now we are just letting go of that work and doing it. But yeah, as I was saying, money and time, money and time. You've got to let go of both of those. I know it's challenging and I've, I'm, I'm going through it. I'm not saying it's easy. Um, but time, if you wear a watch, take it off, throw it away. It's like you may as well be wearing one of those um ankle bracelets that they give people when they're on parole or waiting for sentencing or whatever 
really, because that's a watch is really no different. And um, just throw it away. See what happens. See what life's like. It's good. I've been doing that for years. It's really good. I'm kind of late for appointments. <laughs> but, you know, hey-ho. Things happen when they're meant to happen. You know, just get more in tune with the natural rhythms of nature. You know, arrange to meet when the sun's setting. And see how that goes. And um, go out when the weather's good. Stay in when it's not. To go, you know, go shopping when it feels right. Or meet up with someone when you feel like it and they feel like it. So there's a real natural coming together. And just start to see how life goes without clock time. And money, that is a really challenging one. And you know what? I haven't actually figured it out yet. The stuff I need to buy. So I go buy it. And I need money to do that. So I have to ask people who book a session with me for healing to pay me. I ask them to pay me what they can afford to pay me and what's comfortable. And that's fine for me. And for one person, it's more. And for another, it's less. And for another, it's nothing in terms of money. But there may be some other form of exchange. So that I, it has to be a kind of, I think that one has to be a, a, what's the right word? It's a progress. No, that's not the right word. It's a transition. That's the word I'm looking for. That one has to be a transition. I, you know, the money thing has to be a transition. And maybe the time one does for you because you still got your nine to five so you need to wake up by a certain time and catch the bus by a certain time and I know I've been there and when I say I've been there I'm not coming from any place of um, superiority in saying that or, you know, in the slightest I'm just saying I know what it's like I've been in that suffering and um, and it is it's suffering Please believe me on that, you know. Do not be your own prison keeper. It's the, it's the Stockholm Syndrome, isn't it, you know? Uh, so, yeah, what else did I want to talk about today? Yeah, I think that's it really for now. So, yeah, just be really mindful of your relationship with time mindful of your relationship with money and just be conscious of starting to disengage from both of those and just see how liberating that is. And if you're not feeling positive, um, you will be soon, I promise you. We're, it's, we're just on the verge of, of this new earth now and the, the beauty that it's going to bring for all of us. So, um, yeah, just stay, stay chipper, as, as English like to say. And um, I'm not very good at saying this stuff, but if you haven't done so, so already, please do subscribe to this channel. There's also a link below for some to um, subscribe to my mailing list and then I send you out some stuff, some free stuff, some interesting stuff. Um, if you'd like to um, connect with me just for a chat, please do. If you'd like to book a healing session, you're still struggling, you still can't see the light at the end of the tunnel or you, you know, the stuff in your life that is personally holding you back um, and you need support with that, then please do reach out for me because that's what I do and I'm very, very good at it, um, if I say so myself. We're not meant to do that, are we? We're not meant to talk about how good we are. But in the new world, we can talk about how good we are. So I'm very good at guiding, helping people in their healing journey. And if you need support with that, please 
reach out to me and it's just my pleasure to do so. So yeah, from Koh Samui here in Thailand and from me, from Simon Hills, um, I love you all dearly. Stay well.